Now this is the C6 Corvette. And there's a C7, the seventh generation of Corvette, which has a brand new 6.2 liter small block Chevy. And here's something really interesting. The brand new Sierra, that also shares that 6.2 liter Chevy engine. Coming up next on the fast lane truck, we're gonna check out that Sierra, everything you ever wanted to know. My name is Jeff Luke. I'm the Executive Chief Engineer for General Motors full and mid-size trucks and SUVs. What we're sitting in today is the 2015 GMC Sierra Denali. It features our uh, new uh, Ecotec 3 uh, 6.2 liter uh, uh, directed, uh, direct injected engine. Uh, 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque, most horsepower and torque of any truck in the segment. It's um, got all of the premium amenities that uh, you would expect in, the, in a Sierra Denali, starting from uh, real aluminum treatments around the uh, instrument panel cluster, around the uh, air, air vents on the left and the right. Uh, the Denali badging is prominent on this vehicle, starting with the horn pad, the uh, head restraint on the uh, both uh, front and uh, passenger seats. Uh, prominent badging all around the, the vehicle, uh, including the doors, and of course the iconic Denali grille. Properly equipped with a heavy-duty uh, trailering package uh, will do uh, 11,500 pounds um, and then if you wanted to get the um, um, You wanted to get the package properly equipped with 18 inch uh, tires and wheels that would be uh, 12,000 pounds both the five uh, the 11,500 pounds that uh, is industry leading by itself, but then when you, if you wanted to go to the 12,000 pounds, that ups the game even uh, more. Denali features a different uh, uh, um, uh, instrument cluster versus uh, a base uh, GMC uh, Sierra. This has a six gauge cluster with a reconfigurable uh, center portion where you can actually display the various types of information uh, you want by by customizing it. If you're towing and you use the tow haul mode which activates at the end of the gear stock you replace the volt gauge for a transmission oil temperature which is very important when to watch when you're uh, trailering so uh, you know this is just another way in which to provide uh, convenient useful information to uh, customers. We've uh, watched our competition uh, very carefully and uh, we believe that uh, the, the three technologies that we've combined with the Ecotec 3, basically the uh, direct injection, the uh, um, active fuel management or cylinder deactivation, uh, coupled with the uh, continuous variable valve timing, those three technologies seamlessly integrated together, we believe provides the customer the, the best uh, balance for everything from uh, daily driving to the work you have to do for performance and fuel economy. So we can increase horsepower and torque and at the same time increase fuel economy and especially when you start pulling a trailer uh, for example we find that um, uh, whereas a, a, a smaller displacement a boosted engine is constantly in boost uh, using fuel uh, a V8 engine is, um, is better equipped and designed to be able under those uh, conditions to uh, to, to optimize fuel and we watch this very closely uh, real-world fuel economy usage especially in those types of conditions and I I just think it's a, it's a, a better optimized solution the um, uh, push block engine 
or a push rod engine, excuse me, has been around uh, for, for over 50 years and uh, we've continued to make it better. This uh, generation five version of this engine uh, here with the with these three technologies seamlessly integrated together is uh, uh, just taking it to an all new level. All right, all you truck guys and truck gals, this is probably the most eagerly anticipated new pickup of 2014. And why is that, Nathan? 420 pound-feet of torque. 420 pound-feet of torque. What's under the hood? A V6 Eco Diesel. It's three liters and it puts out 240 horsepower. Wow, now that is crazy. A light-duty truck with a diesel engine. We're going to get to test drive it coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck.